current state of the IRS is very difficult and for a couple reasons. One and probably the biggest is the budget. Uh, they, the budget's been down 10% over the last six years and uh, they've had retirements they're not replacing and so the resources they have available have been just really stretched and they've been charged with a lot of additional things to do. They've been charged with uh, the Affordable Care Act and doing a lot of the reporting about that. They've also been charged with a lot of international banking and being responsible for those type of things. So the IRS is really stressed with a lot more duties and a lot less to do it with. Some of the challenges that are facing tax professionals, again, it spawns off the resource issue, is that we just had a session today and I spoke about what's going on with the IRS and, and people ask me questions about, how do I get a response from the IRS? It takes me 30 minutes plus to get on the phone to, get a, to speak to someone. Or I have an examination going on and I can't get anyone to move on the examination or elevate the issue. Or I've got a real hardship with a client and I can't get anyone to listen or to have a sympathetic ear. It's not because the agency and the, people, the professionals don't care, it's just that they're really strained with doing more with less people. The budget constraints are affecting our practitioners in a lot of ways. Probably the biggest way is that the budget's down and they can't hire people to replace folks. So we've seen 3,000 employees leave since 2010, mostly through retirements or regular attrition, and they can't add anybody. So there's a big brain drain at the IRS. The experience and the complexity of the tax administration increases. And so if they can't handle the resource issue and they can't handle the people issue, it's going to be an agency that really doesn't have a lot of the history that it needed to have and a lot of the experience it needs to handle the challenges to go forward. Yeah, some of the other challenges with the budget are that you've seen closures of taxpayer walk-in services, which people need, practitioners need to go into the IRS and try to work out a case. There's less and less of those. And you also see that the service is giving less advice, meaning that people want to get private letter rulings or other kind of guidance on issues, and it takes too much time and it takes too much resources. The service is not going to be able to dedicate those as much anymore. So without those kind of resources and, and, and priorities, we're just going to see less advice and there'll be less certainty for our for our practitioners. Some of the biggest priorities the service is facing is that anyone who's answered a phone is identity theft and fraudulent phone calls from people who pretend to be the IRS. That's a big issue. It's bad for the, IR the IRS's reputation even though they had nothing to do with it. So identity theft and refund are, are big issues. The offshore compliance, making sure people are reporting income from all around the world, those are really important issues. And again, as I mentioned before, they're working on a lot of uh, issues with the Affordable Care Act and with uh, compliance with uh, foreign reporting of bank accounts. You know, identity is one thing. We see all these other type of ways that cheaters, fraudsters are, are trying to a attack the system. One is phishing. They send you emails and ask for information alleging to be from the IRS. They make phone calls. I came home last night and my wife said there was a message on me that they were going to arrest us and seize all our assets unless we called the summer back and made arrangements. And the, fa the sad thing is people are afraid of the IRS so they believe these stories. And so the real challenge for practitioners is they get people coming in and, and saying, oh, I've got this going on, this happened to me, and there really isn't a simple way to serve with the IRS. The, the, having a return filed on, be, on your behalf by someone who's not you is very difficult to deal with because they can't, it's really hard for them to go into their account and reverse that a return's been filed. And it's really hard for them to think, well, where did the money go? And so it, 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 there's, a, there's a, lot, a lot of steps in the process. It takes six months to a year to resolve a fraudulent return. That's really tough for folks, for the agency. I think of accountants and my fellow tax practitioners is that uh, really keeping current what's going on in the system of taxation, whether it's law changes, but more importantly, really what's going on with the IRS. And so, you know, going to seminars, uh, reading daily releases from the IRS or other publications, it, it, it's kind of fun because taxes always change. People think to me like it's just a boring thing, but staying up with the, the developments and being current because uh, what happened five years ago is not relevant to a lot of what's going on today. So be current and uh, keep learning.